Good morning, I'm Brooke Capes. For the first time in more than three weeks, Wisconsin reported no new COVID-19 related deaths. 203 tests came back positive yesterday out of more than 7,500. However, the Winnebago County Health Department is reporting a jump in confirmed COVID-19 cases over the past two weeks. The county is reporting 301 confirmed positive cases, which is nearly triple the number it saw three weeks ago. Thousands gathered in downtown Green Bay over the weekend to protest police brutality and racial inequality. Now they're beginning to have their demands heard. According to organizers, they had multiple meetings with Mayor Genrick and city council members last week leading up to their march through the downtown. All right, so today, at least during the daytime, most of the hours dry, though, heading through the evening. Here we go with the rain and downpours. You see some of those moving on through. That's round one, then kind of a break tomorrow morning. And then as far as tomorrow afternoon, and tomorrow night, another round of rain rolling its way on through. So this is going to add up some downpours tonight. You see maybe over an inch of rain in spots. And then with the second round, that adds on to that. So possibly two, three inches in a few spots, depending on where those downpours set up. Another thing about tonight, ooh, it's going to get windy out there too. Watch it going out of the east. And then again, by tomorrow morning, out of the southwest, sometimes gusting over 40 miles per hour. So still warm today. Go well into the 80s, though the wind picks up off the lake, cooling it down there. Here come the downpours for tonight, 65. Going to get really windy out there, too. Tomorrow still windy. A chance of a couple afternoon showers or thunderstorms, and that lingers into tomorrow night as well. Slight chance of rain on Thursday, and then after that, we're going to cool it down and get pretty comfortable into the weekend. We'll keep it dry then. Now you can watch your radar as we head through the night on our news app. It's free in your app store.